So Huawei's been in a lot of trouble the last couple months, as you all know. And some of you may know that they've come up with their own OS. You know, because they in trouble and they need something. Will it be enough? Well, let's talk about it. Right after this! This, this is, uh, you know you listening to, to Travis. What up, players? Welcome back. And for all you new people, welcome. My name's Travis and I do tech videos every single week and have a blast doing them. If that sounds like fun to you, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Anything I talk about will be in the description below. But for now, let's just get into the video. Most of you are probably aware that Huawei is in a little bit of trouble with the US government. You see, they've been banned by Google and a bunch of other tech companies that do business with the United States. Uh, and they're not really allowed to do a lot of business with those companies. But they did get a reprieve for a couple of months. It looks like August is fast upon us. So uh, what are they up to? What are they, what are they gonna do? How are they getting out of this one? And I made a video about this a couple weeks back where I talked about this thing is not over. There's still plenty of time for this thing to just go away with a bunch of secret kind of compromises we'll never know anything about, which is always the way it is when this much money's on the line. And I still believe that. There's still plenty of time for this thing to go away. Will it? I don't really know, but I just have a feeling when you have the second largest manufacturer of smartphones out there that they're just not going to go away. But in the meantime, Huawei has been making a OS for the last several years because of a scare a couple years ago. And Oak OS, which is one of the names they go by, is supposed to be their new mobile operating system in case this whole Google thing doesn't work. And probably actually even if it does work out because this just underlines a very big susceptible problem that they have. They're very susceptible to this. And that is that they rely on Google maybe too much. And to be honest, they actually rely on a couple other companies for some of their hardware as well. But as any company, any smart business will do, they will get rid of those reliances outside of its own company whenever they can, because it's something like this that could put someone right out of business. And if they didn't have this operating system coming out, this is exactly what it would do. It's devastating. They can't even make laptops. I mean, Microsoft's in on this at this point. It's crazy. So what is Oak OS? Well, I'm not gonna go into the absolute details of what the OS is and isn't. Let's just talk about the 30,000 foot view of what this actually means. It is essentially software they're gonna to use to put on their phones, perhaps starting with the Mate 30 and moving forward. With that, they say that the compatibility with Android apps is 100%, like there's no difference. And that might sound like, yeah, well, okay, Huawei's into it, they did it, they figured it out, they don't need Google anymore. Uh, nah, brah. Here's the thing, Huawei has been very close to taking over the number one spot in mobile manufacturers. I mean, they're right on the tail of Samsung. This whole Google thing has them on the ropes and they might slip down the rankings here. They've already said that their earnings are gonna be down a lot in the next couple of weeks. But here's the, let's just really, let's think about this. Everyone settle, everyone settle down. So much is on the line here and the only way they're ever gonna hit number one is if they can get into the United States. That's right, selling their phones easily in the United States, sure. You can order them and import them and all this other stuff, or at least you could uh, previously, but it wasn't easy. You couldn't go into a store and get a Huawei phone. It just wasn't a thing here in the States. And I wanna make it clear, I have an international audience. There are people all over the world that watch this channel. And most of them can go right into any store and buy a Huawei phone. Some of them even have them and are watching this video right now on a Huawei phone. And if you are, leave a comment below. But here in the States, that's just not a thing, which makes it amazing that Huawei has come so close to number two. If they can get into the States, they might be number one. With all that being said, if they don't get on the US government's good side, it's not gonna happen. And even if they do, let's say that they do get past the ban and then push forward with their Oak OS like they probably should, and then try to bring that over to America, it's not gonna happen. You see, we've actually already been through this a couple of times, and there's no better indication of the future than the past. Let me tell you about two super giants that tried this before. Some of you may have heard about a small little company about 20 minutes from my house called Microsoft. Did you know they used to have a phone operating system? Some of you did. Some of you own those phones. As a matter of fact, I have one over there. It was actually one of the better phones for very inexpensive. There were a lot of different levels to their phones. They didn't really go with like a super, super, super high-end smartphone. They had some nice ones. But they had a lot of inexpensive ones and they ran great with about five apps because you know, Windows OS. You would think from the outside looking in that the number one operating system on desktop could easily have the number one OS in mobile. All they have to do is just make a mobile version of the desktop and you're good to go, right? 
It's not the way, that's not, it's not, no, didn't, nope, mm, nope. So some of you might be saying, well, of course, that's way different. You had to get completely different apps rewritten. It's a different operating system. All right, fine. But essentially what Huawei is doing is building upon the guts of Android. Of course, they say that the, the, compatib the compatibility with Android apps is gonna be you know, about 100%, which means they're probably using the underpinnings of some type of Android, probably the open source version. There's actually another company that did something similar to that as well. We're talking about Amazon here. Now, here's the thing. In America, Amazon is huge. Overseas, you're probably aware of Amazon. You may even order something once or twice. But here in America, it is absolutely positively huge. And they're one of the only companies anywhere in the US that are selling Android-based tablets. Like, they're selling tons of them. Their Fire OS is not a great OS, which I'll explain a little bit later, but they're selling the tablets because they're so inexpensive and they are actually a quality tablet. But Amazon did their own OS kind of fork off of Android, which means they had to get all the apps back into their app store. And here's the thing. It's basically the same operating system with almost like a new skin, but they have their own app store, which is exactly what's gonna happen to Huawei. And while they've been able to get the big apps, things like Spotify and Facebook and stuff like that, the other apps that people use, things like, I don't know, your banking app or, or maybe your ride sharing app, aren't always on there. And that's a problem. Time and time and time again, we've seen that people kind of reject these operating systems that don't have the apps they use every day. Now, for a tablet, you can get away with a little bit more of that because mostly what you're doing is ingesting media. But when the Fire Phone came out, remember that? It didn't go over very well. And there could be a lot of reasons behind that. It could be the phone itself. But really, the app selection was too poor. And yes, you can sideload on all of these. But ask your average consumer what sideloading means. I'll wait. So I really feel in a lot of ways, this is the same exact thing for Huawei. Now, this is gonna work just fine in their homeland of China. They sell way too many phones and have too much loyalty over there to, to fail. Like, they're just not gonna fail. It doesn't matter. They will win in China. They may win in a couple of other countries just outside of China. I just don't know that Oak OS is gonna be good enough for all the other countries that rely on those features and apps. Now they say they can get the APKs transferred over easily and them being a Chinese company, they might just take the APK and put it in their own uh, store. I mean, who knows? But then the updates and everything still have to be done by the developer. And unless they're gonna be paying developers lots of money, this isn't a winning combination. Again, Amazon's huge and they haven't even really been able to do it even though they're still around and still selling tablets. So listen, worst come to worst, Huawei is gonna be fine in their own country. I just don't see how this operating system can be anything but a small little piece of an overall world. And I think they might actually start slipping down the rung from number two to number three to number four to whatever. But what do you think? What are your thoughts? Is this Oak OS gonna do anything for Huawei? Will it help save them? Should they still just come back crying to Google, begging them to allow them back on the platform? Of course, it's not even Google's, uh, it's not even Google's choice at this matter point. They have to, they have to go to, you know, the dude in the White House, you know that dude. But let me know in the comments what you think. You know, maybe you can change my mind and, I mean, no, you, I mean, you're probably not going to, but listen, you know, you can try. If this video helped you out anyway, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. And if it didn't, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. I'm here every single week having a blast. Hope to see you again real soon. Peace and love, peace and love. I bet you there's some sales on Huawei phones.